Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ancestral Owl Messages with the Collective Scorpio. Read for Scorpio for the last week of October 2020 or Timeless. This is a mess read. I call it the mess read because it's mental, emotional, spiritual, and relationship with self. If you like the content of my channel, absolutely like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when any other videos, when any of my videos are uploaded. Um, I do give personal reads. The description or the way to contact me is in the description of the video below. The reads are $20 for a personal read. Um, just tell me what type of read you're looking for. Um... But other than that, like, let's get into this read. Let's pray first as I'm shuffling. Father God, great creator, divine mother, mother Mary, angels and spirit guides, I ask for wisdom and clarity for the mess read for the collective sign of Scorpio for this last week of October 2020 are timeless. I ask that any messages that need to come through will be heard and understood and translated loud and clear with love and those that need to hear the message will be led to this video in Jesus name amen okay now just like I mentioned there's four parts or four sectors mental emotional spiritual and relationship with self okay one more shuffle four cards to each and I'll explain as I lay them out here we go okay Now this card is what the world sees. This is at the heart of the matter. This is hidden from view. Even at times hidden from you. Okay. Make sure you guys can see all of these. All right, let's get into it. Let's get these over, make sure all of them are in view. Okay. Now, a little rundown of the little sectors. I call them sectors. Anything that happens in any of the other three sectors will show up in here. This is the spiritual sector as clarity or like clarifying the other three. Now, like I said, this is what the world sees. We have different faces that we show to the world, to ourselves, to the people closest to us. Now, mentally, you are showing the world Page of Wands. Uh, right now, all of us being basically in quarantine to a degree, lack of social interaction, you could be on social media. This is a sign of Scorpio. It's for a collective of Scorpio. You could be on social media quite a bit. Page of Wands is that it's communication, it's messages. The wands are words. Pages, though, they, and I've said this before, pages are like the ages of small children. And I, I that's how I learned the difference between, or that's, like little epiphany I had difference between pages and nights. Pages are the little ones. They're the ones that are going around. Um, they'll go around the house say, what's that? What's that for? What does that do? Like, what happens? Like, what? why is the sky blue? Those type of questions. It's pages. Nights are the teenager energy. This is very childlike. Childlike optimism. I keep hearing optimism. Like, childlike... It's that watery, yeah, it's that optimism, like everything, like the flow of emotions and that childlike messages. But this is what you're showing to the world from 
your mental perspective, you could see things in a childlike innocence, and that's where it's coming across. And at the heart of the matter, you have the High Priestess and the Magician. You may come across as very childlike, but mentally, these two are very powerful, manifesting. This is spiritual connection, understanding the secrets of spirituality and being awakened and very in tune with the divine and nature. That's at the heart of the matter. So you may be showing a face to the world. That's not really who you are. This is a very in tune, awakened individual, intuitive, maybe even psychic, Prophetic knows how to manifest. Now, I, what's hidden from view, though, and what's on your mind, and what's hidden is what you're not talking about is this Three of Cups. There was a third, part, third party situation in the past that really hurt you deeply. Now, the remnants of this third party kind of shows up throughout here, but this is healing. It, it's in the process of healing. And the reason I say it's in the process of healing because this is hidden from view. Whenever anything emotionally happens to us, our mind, we mentally go over it. That's the reason during these reads, what I've discovered is that if it's an emotional hurt or wounding, it'll show up spiritually with clarity, like with a deeper understanding but it will show up in the mental sector, the mental side, because that's what our minds do. Our minds go over the details of certain pains that in certain, certain woundings, and they'll just play over and over in our minds because we want to get to the why. Why did it happen? Uh, why couldn't this have happened? Why didn't this happen differently? What what happened here? And we keep looking for answers, and that's the reason our mind keeps replaying it. That's but it's hidden in the back of your mind. It's where you're not telling anyone this, because there is a deep level of healing here. It's just that there's just the remnant of this that just keeps circulating, because you get into the emotional, and you're showing the world. The hangman. That you're looking at things from a different perspective. And this is different insight. This is changing your view. So you're getting a deeper understanding of certain things. And you're showing the world this. They can see this. And then in the when you get into the heart of the matter emotionally. This is where this becomes interesting. I've never seen this happen before doing these reads. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. That is divine feminine energy. And that is double divine, divine feminine energy. That is really standing in your emotions, taking control of your emotions and being in control of it. This nurturing balanced female that knows how she that divine feminine balanced knows what she is feeling but then the queen of pentacles where she has the resources spiritual resources emotional resources emotional abundance that even though this third party had happened in the past that is where you are emotionally what's hidden from view is wheel of fortune this is fated. This is something that was meant to happen because it caused growth. And this desire in you or this force, like it, it was almost like it put you in a place where it forced you to look at certain things in your life. To where you took a deeper look at it, to where you can, it was when you started healing this, a lot of other healing happened. So it it was almost like the tower, and I'm surprised the tower didn't show up, because the tower card is needed. Faulty foundation, 
the building has to come down so it can be rebuilt the right way on firm foundation. So this was fated to have happened. And you know this in the back of your mind, you know that. In the back of your heart, you know it. In your mind, you just, you know it in deep knowing. Now, spiritual side of it. This is where, this is why... Because I was kind of confused by the Three of Cups when it appeared. Because there was no real other signs of that pain here. That's why I keep saying that this is this deep healing that's happened. Because it shows up spiritually. Three of Swords. This was a disappointment. So you've gone through the stages of the healing, this pain, and this past betrayal. Because you've reached that place of you're just disappointed disappointed that it didn't work out now you're at that place you're disappointed that you like things didn't go differently but you look at the heart of the matter you see this is this looks absolutely amazing yeah the hierophant and the nine of pentacles and that is spiritual teacher that is someone that knows spirituality that that has an inner knowing like i said intuitive you're coming into your own this heartbreak had to have happened for you to reach that place nine of pentacles is basking in a job well done this is a job well done there's a lot of healing that's happened here and it takes a lot to be able to forgive and to reach the place where you're just disappointed it didn't work out differently because in the back Spiritually, what's hidden from view is King of Wands. That's that divine, fiery, masculine energy. Now, I'll get back to that one. Relationship with self is the sun. You have really... There's real happiness here because now you're taking care of yourself. You've taken a moment. You've backed away. And you've taken care of yourself. And that is joy, that is sunlight, that is new, new life. At the heart of the matter, third queen, third queen. Queen of swords, knight of wands. That is standing in your own power. This knight of wands, that's that teenagery, like I mentioned with when I talked about the page, but this is conversation. There is something you are allowing in that has made the difference with how you view yourself. So there's a remnant of the past, but there is the new future here. And I think that's where he comes in, is this King of Wands. Because what's hidden from view is Eight of Wands. That is advanced communication. That's advanced. That's... That's a lot of talking. This could be defending yourself, even to yourself. But th this is a lot of words. This is an internal dialogue. You are, you're telling yourself, I'm doing this for me because I need to do this for me. Because I don't think you want to jump out there yet. But if this energy has come in and you want to give it a shot, not everyone is like the past with that third party energy okay so let me pull a card for the center for your advice on each of these areas from the great creator from the divine The tower didn't come out. I'm surprised the tower didn't come out. But the tower's already happened. That's what transformed and that's what kick started this whole healing. Okay, for the mental, for your advice from the divine in the mental sector of this, this is Ten of Pentacles. This is you have all the resources at your hand to mentally, you're on top of it. And you, you are High Priestess and the Magician. You're, you have that ability to manifest, to pull out. I, I, the next read is going to be the Five Caves read, to pull out the Cave of Ice, what your life needs. So this is Ten of Pentacles. This is 
basically showing you that you have those resources this is um, family um, comfort this is comfort within yourself this is mental comfort you know what happened there's that intuitive um, spiritually connected energy there now emotionally seven of wands with the wands by the time you get well five is when it all cost and using your words to do it then when it's the seven eight nine there's a level of defending yourself but there's a level of it's more or less of using your words wisely more wisely than you have in the past not to fight to win but to basically reinforce the boundaries that you've set up and you've used your words to do that this is my limit you keep crossing that I'll push the limit I'll push my line further back and there's a lot there with the seven of wands the eight of wands is is that same type of energy but it's it's really like that going back and forth and not and it's when it shows up here it's that internal dialogue and you got a lot of reasons not to trust this person and but this when it comes up emotionally that is there's really boundaries that you've set and there's because there's that level of trust that came from that third party that is there it may remain there but healthy boundaries are always good there to have that you use your intuition use your intuition when you're trusting someone or when you feel led to set up a healthy boundary that's the reason it's called healthy boundary because it's healthy for you and for your growth and it's also healthy for the other person a lot of don't really go into that but the seven of wands is that drawing the line in the sand and making sure it's not crossed like this is my limit go that way or I'll push it further back now you get the spiritual side of it there's that three of swords that was that disappointment heartbreak this is nine of swords this is I consider this the grief card this is three times the disappointment card this is the really mourning being in your head but sleepless nights and going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so there is something that you are mourning here but I think it's more of the past than the future and there's a level of not trusting the future because that's in from you like there is really a divine feminine energy here but what's what's hidden from you what's not really talked about is that divine masculine spiritually that I really like it's a worry thing like you're worrying yourself over nothing you can't don't worry about what happens tomorrow you can't change tomorrow you're not there yet don't worry about that not everyone will be part of this third party that happened to you and caused this heartbreak not everyone is like that no your relationship with self now this is very telling the four of wands there's there's a celebration because you're happy just being alone this is it's almost like this was offered to you and you're kind of considering it but this is I'm still happy by myself and if I feel like this when it's presented to me maybe I should just stay happy by myself it doesn't mean you're not ready for that it just means that there's additional healing that'll come some healings actually happen when you meet someone else or you meet the person you're supposed to be with or you meet a soulmate because they're part of your soul tribe you meet your twin flame you you there's a level of healing that comes then too that normally wouldn't come alone so this is, you're happy being by yourself but you have that has been offered
All right, much love to you. This was for the collective sign of Scorpio. This is your mess read for the last week of October 2020 or timeless. Love and light.